Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It is good to be back. Um, it is good to be back. Uh, we're going to get into the topic of the day, Canelo Alvarez. Um, Edgar Berlanger signs with the zone. Uh, what does that all mean? Obviously, Canelo's on the horizon, but before we get into all that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, all forms of social media. Uh, quick hits, like I guess I can let you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day. Um to keep you updated on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors, please also subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. Uh, please subscribe to Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. All right, so Edgar Berlanger signed with Eddie Hearn and Matram. But Matram, but on his own. What does this mean for Canelo Alvarez? To me... The writing's already on the wall. But the writing's on the wall. Canelo's going to fight John Ryder in May. And he's going to come back and fight Berlinger probably in September. And that's Canelo's 2023. It's what it is. <laughs> you know? <laughs> um, that Neither fight is a fight anyone wants. Neither fight really... Does anything for Canelo's legacy, his standing, but I, I don't see the Bavall fight happening. Um, if that's what you wanted, I, I don't see him fighting the winner of, well, should Benavides win? I don't see him fighting Benavides. I, 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 I'm I pretty certain 2023 is going to be Canelo fights Ryder and Belinda. And, and Canelo's, what, 32 now? He's getting up there. I mean, he's not old yet. He's moving in that direction, obviously. You know, he's moving in that direction. Um, is you know how many more years does he have left at the top? And and, and in twenty twenty three, he's gonna fight. He's gonna fight John Ryder and Edgar Berlanger. John Ryder is the luckiest man in the face of boxing. We just did an episode on that. We just did an episode on on Berlang, on, on John Ryder. Lucky to get a decision over Jacobs in a fight he clearly lost. Um, then Zach Parker, who's beaten him. Breaks his hand and decides that he to quits. Not, nothing, right? Nothing. Ryder did. Parker just broke his hand and quit. Yeah, you know, I, I lost a little bit of respect for who I think the world. I thought Zach Parker was really, really good fighter, really good looking prospect, really you know moving to contender status was something to keep an eye on. I lost a little bit of respect for him. Look, you win that fight, you you got Canelo Alvarez, ten million dollar payday. Legacy, fame, all staring at you. If you just don't quit, right? Maybe you don't win, right? Maybe maybe you can't fight with it. But don't you want to try it? Just 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 go out there and push it. Just push it. Just just uh, give it all you got. Because you're a way better fighter than John Ryder. John Ryder lost to Rocky Fielding, who Canelo disposed of in two rounds. You're a way better fighter than Canelo than than, than John Ryder. See if you can do it. You owe it to yourself. Just, just see if you can do it, if you, if, if you can beat him with one hand, right? Like Gary Russell almost beat Mark Messiah with just his backhand. Give it a shot. But he didn't, and Ryder got, and, and, uh, Ryder got the win. Ryder goes on to fight Canelo as if he did something more special, which he did not. He just got beat up, and the guy broke his hand. And then he's going to fight Berlanger. And I, I, I've done episodes of this. Why does anyone think Edgar Berlanger is good? Why does anyone think this? What has he ever done to make you think he can even be in a ring with Canelo? But make it a competitive fight. He got a bunch of first-round knockouts early in his career. So what? So what? Who cares? It doesn't matter. Those guys, are, those are not world championship caliber fighters. What have you done since you've stepped up? And the answer is you've gone the distance, you've gotten dropped, and maybe you got a lucky decision. 
you pull up his box rank. It's not good. Like what on that? What on that resume? I'm gonna pull up his box now. He's 25 now, so he's starting to hit his prime, right? 20 0, his last four fights all gone the distance. Alexis Angulo, best win. Steve Rolls. Um, he was probably lucky. He, Marcelo Esteban Corsares and Desmond Nicholson. Guys, this is his resume. Is that impressive to you? That gets you Canelo? They're gonna get him one more fight. I, I, I don't know who it's going to be. We know it ain't going to be anybody good because they want to make this Canelo fight. They want to make this Canelo fight. So they're going to give another, you know, another Steve Rolls type of opponent who he's going to beat. Probably you DM. And they'll tell me how he's a monster, how he won his first 16 fights by first round knockout. And then they'll go in with Canelo and get absolutely annihilated um, and stopped by Canelo. And they're going to charge me for this. Eddie Hearn told me that the view model was dead. What up? What's up, Eddie? <laughs> now you're going to charge me 50 bucks, 60 bucks probably to watch Canelo and Edgar Berlanga? Really? This is what we're doing now. This is what we're doing now. See, what do I even get with my design? I mean, what do I even get with my design subscription now? One fight a month? They one card a month? And then a hundred dollars a month for Canal a hundred dollars a year for Canal pay-per-views? And then you're surprised that people stream. You, you, you told them the pay-per-view model was dead. You told them Joshua and Canal were fighting on design. That's what you told them. And then you charge them for their pay per views. And they're not even what you, you hyped them up to be. Joshua loses to everyone, and Canelo might too. But this is your model. And then you are surprised why people stream them. I can't figure that out at all. Let's use our brains here. Um, you lied to us about the, the price point, and then you gave us garbage content. And then you surprised people didn't want to pay for it. Can't figure that out. Um, but again, this is just disappointing. It's it's not the 2023 we had hoped for. You know, we're not getting before we're not getting anything decent. We're getting these two fights. I, I'm 99% certain of it. You know, I, I think Canelo wants us to stay away from Bavol at this point, and it is what it is. Different weight classes. I can't completely blame the guy, right? But Bavol has volunteered to come down to 68. So I mean. But, you know, I, I think ultimately, maybe it's the United States Canelo. Maybe it's just Eddie Hearn. Maybe it's, I, I don't know. You know? They just don't want that fight right now. It's a possibility. Um, he got beat up, guys. He got beat bad in that first fight. You know, maybe they just don't want, they don't like what they see him. And they don't think they can, he can beat him. So why fight him again? Um. But let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, all forms of social media. Let me know what you guys think of this Canelo Alvarez versus Ryder Blanio. Do you think that's what we're getting? Is anyone excited for it? Uh, I certainly am not. Um, please also subscribe to our other channel, uh, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. Uh, all proceeds from that channel go to Autism Research and Recovery. Uh, it is February 15th, 2023, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.